innovation is discussed a, a lot nowadays, um, but what it really means when you boil it down is bringing new ways of thinking or working into our industry. And so often technology is um, enabling innovation because it allows us to think about different ways of engaging with each other, getting data or information. It might even um, allow us to think about different ways of getting work done. But it doesn't always have to be. There are actually some really interesting, even just social innovations uh, that we're starting to see in the mining industry as well, where we're just thinking about different ways of interacting or different ways of creating value into communities. One of the biggest challenges to getting real innovation, whether it be for a company or for an industry, is that we're always really much more, or en masse, we're much more comfortable doing things the way we used to do it, or similarly to the way we used to do it. And often when we look at innovations, new ways of thinking or new ways of doing things, the first thing we think about is why will it not work? And it's always really easy um, to think of a million ways why something won't work. It's more challenging sometimes to flip that question and go, how do we make this work? Because this is actually going to add value. Um, this is going to make it easier. This will make our industry more enticing or more environmentally sustainable or safer. So how do we go about making this work? And so I think the, the real um, key to unblocking the power of innovation in our industry, because we are tremendously innovative on one level, uh, but just in a more continuous way. Um, but to, to unlock that transformations and those transformative innovation is really to turn the question around and go, because there's value in changing the way we do things, how do we make that work? Data is a really interesting thing. It's almost like a lifeblood. Um, you know, we all know that if we don't have data, then it's really hard to improve processes and drive returns um, and deliver sort of real benefits to revenue or to profitability. But there's always this question around how much data do you need in order to drive those changes? Um, and, and I think the key to a lot of these things is one of the things that we've found is that the more data that you have, the more transparency you have with that data, so we don't manipulate it, we see it for its, to its root cause, um, and the more we can then measure our performance and then look to how we go about improving our performance, the better we perform. Um, and so certainly I think one of the keys is making sure that we've got integrated data, because one of the risks is we look at data in a very siloed way, and especially in mining, and, and we sort of all know this. Um, and one of the challenges I think for mining and data is actually that we need to look across that whole integrated um, value chain and optimise across that value chain, see, have transparent data across that value chain. And then I think the second challenge for us as an industry with data is, um, you know, a lot like, uh, you know, the engineers we are, we want to know everything. So we put sensors on everything. We've got something like 35,000 sensors on our trucks and all sorts of different things. Um, but I think there is some work to be done to go, well, what information do we really need in order to manage our business effectively and drive those productivities, drive those insights? And I think in mining, sometimes we're a little wasteful with these things and we just go, well, we want everything. We'll just put everything on. But then again, then we create this maintenance burden. We create a burden of moving data all around, lots of data all around. There's cost to put it into the cloud. There's cost to manipulate it. Um, and I know they might be sort of seem insignificant, but in fact, it, you know, becomes quite um, significant as you add more and more. So I think, you know, one of our challenges is knowing and thinking about what is the the minimum amount of big data that we need in order to create these really useful insights. The Global Mining Guidelines Group um, that I'm the chair of, um, it's an industry association um, and we are collaborative natives, so the whole idea is to get um, organisations across the industry's ecosystem together to collaborate, to work on guidelines, to build uh, knowledge and, and education um, and to, um, to create uh, communities of interest um, in order to fast track the implementation of technologies and therefore fast track the transformation of our industry. Um, and we have uh, you know, members that are uh, right across the ecosystem, so mining companies, suppliers, consultants, 
um, universities, academics, other industry associations and then regulators. Um, and the idea is to, to get that diversity of thought, diversity of thinking. And I think one of the biggest challenges in the mining industry is that uh, we need to transform the industry. We've done a good job continuously improving, but uh, we need now to transform quite fundamentally. And to do that, we need to bring in a number of these innovations that are going to be technology enabled, which means we need to think about how do we make sure that these innovations, these changes, they work for us. Um, so, you know, that they deliver value, that they, um, that they work technically and most importantly, that our people actually welcome them, use them, change their behaviour, you know, behave differently, act differently as a result of implementing these technologies.